We're live. I told you I'd get a live stream in tonight. Uh, I'm sitting here with our state manager. Many of you who already, many of you already know him, Alex Moores. Hello, everybody. He has a dram. I don't. I'm actually a bit dry at the moment. I've left my dram somewhere over else, elsewhere in the bar. But how good is it being in Whiskey and Almond and um, doing an outturn preview? We've just finished the event. I'm still buzzing. I'm still awake because uh, it's uh, and uh, Rowan guy, Whiskey Soros, 45 fin, some Rowan guy, uh, Pan Aesthetic. Good to see. You. Um, we're just here at Whiskey and Almond. I hope you can hear me. I hope it is Whiskey and Almond. We just did outturn preview. This is actually a new concept for us at Whiskey and Almond. We're going to do it upstairs. See what people think of it. See if people love it. If they get into it. Richie Fernando, Hot Dog Extravaganza, Muzz Man, Matt Music MW. Muzz. For, the, for those, Muzz, good day, Muzz. Um, I'm sitting here with Alex Moores at Whiskey and Almond in Melbourne. How good is this, Alex? Hello, everybody. We've just done Outturn Tasting, which is a fantastic initiative. Um, I mean, the best thing to do, try before you buy if you can. Whiskey and Almond's been doing it for a long time, having the entire Outturn behind the bar, but. We've just done a great event where we've semi-formalised it. Members came in and just tried before they bought. A lot of buying, actually, because a lot of drams went down very, very well. I've got the malt of the month with me at the moment. Spectacular dram. It's so charry. It's, it's like, you know what? Actually, Miranda behind the bar here, one of her tasting notes. By the way, before I delve into that, ask the bar team here at Whiskey Now what they think of the whiskies. They always, ha- always have some amazing notes of their own. And Miranda behind the bar, he said that tasted like buttered popcorn. I agreed 100%. And we were chatting about that at very nerdy depth. And it's either buttered popcorn or if anyone remembers that coloured sweetened popcorn you got, it was cold in packets as like lolly a treat bo- when you were a kid. Lolly bolly bliss bombs or yeah, something? Yeah, all of that. What is they called it, again? It was bliss bombs? I don't know how long that stuff lasts. It's like a Twinkie. It survives nuclear holocaust, right? <laughs> but it's it's got very sweet and popcorny corn vibes, but delicious. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that was great. And... Um, and I'm just going to give you a look. I'm going to pick this up and give you a quick uh, visual tour, oh, visual tour of what where we're sitting. Have a look here. How good is the cabinet look at the moment? Look at this. So many goodies in here, and we're live right now. Uh, Mr. Robert Akers is heading over our way at the moment. Uh, so many lovely whiskies on the shelf, and he's going to join in. We're going to get a few more people joining in. So I'm going to flip that camera back, and uh, and I think we've got a few more people joining in the live stream now. He's actually watching live while doing it live. <laughs> that, that breaks the internet, I think. It does break the internet. That's Come the end of the right. internet as we know it. <laughs> so, it was, what, what were your... Any other outturn preview highlights that we want to tell the live stream about? Jay Davis, his first appearance on the live stream. Or is his second appearance? Because you did hijack my phone once. Uh, this could be his second more, appearance. More than once. More than once. <laughs> <laughs> Successfully once before, but we played you more than once. What's the pick, gents? What was the absolute? If you had to pick one, the one had to pick one. Bottle, the, the 135. 135 was awesome. It was a peated 135, yeah. From the 135 that was fantastic. Yeah. That was fantastic. The Dufton was awesome. The Dufton was, was a good bourbon whiskey. A good whiskey. Yeah. And it was well it was actually surprising to me the the Dufton because it was one of those whiskies like I, I really mean that when I say it's like an, an underdog, a sleeper on outturn. And yeah, you look at them and you go, oh, who cares about Dufton? Like no one, it's not a distillery that people get excited by. I've never heard anyone get excited by Dufton as a distillery profile ever. Good point. And I reckon to go through what we had, I mean, the the outturn this month is very varied. So you've got anything from heavy hitting, rich fruit, malt of the month. It's a full maturation port pipe, and then finished in a you know a charred cast to just mellow it out. It's delicious. But if you're after the kind of sherry bomb, it's the it's what you're looking for in this month. You've got your very refined ninety one, which is Dufton. Uh, fantastic example of a bourbon cask, beautifully balanced. Uh, and then you've got, I mean, the Glen Scotia, 93 was probably my pick. Uh, the the flavour complexity in that for a Glen Scotia was fantastic. I mean, it's classic Glen Scotia, but it's phenomenal. Yeah. A lot of good stuff that works with uh, the summer weather as well. Some some really great... Uh, well, it's actually uh, a light fantastic, tasting. funky, Norse Glen Scotia. Mm. And a good dove tongue for the summer weather, actually. Agreed. Yeah. Absolutely. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm tempted to get one of those Glen Scotias for myself. I, I almost have a standing order for the 93s because they're just, they're such good, just like, just good dramming whiskies that you can introduce people to the Campbelltown region with as well. Mm. Good thing you know a guy. Yeah, I know a guy who knows a guy. I know a guy who knows a guy. I know a guy, uh, I know a guy called Andrew Durbage. I, should, I, need to, I need to hit him up as well. Our cellar master. Yeah, very cool. Um, I'm going to give you one more sort of little tour of the room, what's going on here. I have just finished the event, so it is a bit quiet in here right now, but look at this. I can't get over this cabinet. Every time I look in it, I see a whiskey in there and I go, oh, what the hell? I forgot they had that. 27.95 kilometers. 
27.95. And it's like, what? Ah, I wish I had a bottle of that. A 27. A 27. I mean, if you pan this cabinet, and this is the beautiful thing about whiskey and almond and partner bars, if you were to truly look at some of the whiskies in this cabinet, it shows the beauty of people like Brook and Jules because you can spot 120.7s, you can spot 132s, you can find 119s, you can find 27s, and for those, I mean, apart from the 27 I just said, for those who don't know the numbers, we're talking Japanese SMWS whiskey. Yeah. That at auction or in a collector's hands would be, you know, you just, you'd sell it, you'd never drink it, you'd never see it again, and it would be high price. These That's guys the open it, the they open it, yeah. and they share it with people who like good whiskey. Yeah, and, and exactly. a 7383 sitting in there for the right occasion too. Yeah, yeah an anniversary bottling there of the uh, 7383. And if, um, right over there. if Melbourne members are ever in uh, Melbourne Whiskey Room, I'd encourage you to come and check out the 33.119 on the top shelf, our 10th anniversary bottling, back when we used to get a good old Arbeg to celebrate Australia branch. So. Yeah, that there is one bottle of the 33119 in there, which is a true milestone bottling, a, a true piece of liquid history up the top there. That's, uh, uh, that popped out at the Archie pop-up, yeah? It, it did. That was the, the, the dregs of the bottle that we had in, in Sydney, and this is the one bottle in Melbourne that I know of, apart from, you know, those in private collections, of course. Um, look, you know, what stream for tonight, it was an impromptu stream because I said, I did mention last Wednesday that I have a few events coming up this week. So I uh, bid you farewell. Thank you so much. Thank you to Robert Double Davis and Alex Moores for. Um, I hope you don't mind me calling you Double Davis on the live stream. Sasanjava and and um, and uh, show us the vintage and rare cabinet. Oh, okay. Look, let's look. Let's do a bit more of a cabinet tour before I finish. Can I, can I yeah, no, this? you do. You do this. Just flip right. that around. Hello, everybody. I'm going to try to operate as oh, we go because I know where they are and I hope everyone can hear me okay. I'm going to draw your particular attention to a few different drams. We have here, if you can see that, a very old, 30-year-old 59. Delicious. Very rarely see old uh, 59s coming out now, but we'll see them again, I'm sure. But that's a, a definitely a piece of liquid history. We, we have up here, if everyone can see that, a 132.6. Sorry if the camera bumps, I'm hitting the glass. Delicious, delicious Karuzawa. We have here a couple of long gone... 29.202 Smoking Cherry Bomb. For those who remember that, fantastic. Actually, while I'm here, 10.101. Fantastic. We have up here, members will remember from Champs, the legendary 127.44 Cantina Mexicana. What a cast that was. Step over there, there's the 33.119. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can just, you could go on forever and ever, and I won't. But over here, we also see the 120 next to the props for a hammer film, 90, uh, 93. There's your Cavallan, just next to 119.14. And right up the top here, you can scan along and find everything from Albemore all the way through, buried in the corner. Can't really read the number, but a 25 year old Bladnock 50.82 feel good dram. So, all in all, the thing is fantastic. It's here, it's not all open, it's, none of it is open in the cabin in the moment, but the guys here are absolutely willing to open it because it's all about sharing, drinking whiskey, talking about it, and enjoying each other's company. I will hand you back over to Bailey because I don't know really how to end these feeds, and I think we're probably at the the time of the evening where we'll end it, the end, the uh, end, yes. but I'll put you back on to our national ambassador himself if I get this right. One more, one. There That'll we do go. The trick. That'll do the trick. There we go. Thank you so much, Alex. What a great, uh, what a great evening. What a great evening this has been. Uh, I want to thank Alex, especially Whiskey and Alan, especially for ho having us, uh, having us here. Uh, Miranda, of course, who's been in, um, in looking after us tonight. A wild Miranda appears. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's been it's been an absolute honour doing an outturn preview in Melbourne. Uh, Dram on gents says Muzman, thanks. That's awesome. Richie says time for Dram. Says Robert Akers, of course. Keep it good, fellas. Thank you, Liam. As pleasure as always. We'll see you tomorrow night at the um, yeah, tomorrow night. I think it's a normal kind of night. I'll see how we go. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Cheers.